little bit of going into camp, some of the things that you wanted to look at now that you've had a couple of weeks. Has, uh, has some of the things sort of materialized, maybe with some of the positions that you were looking at, like maybe right tackle, backup corners, that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah. Um, nothing to report. <laughs> no, you need, I know you want uh, something, but uh, uh, we're, we're still battling right now. I mean, this is this is kind of the time where people separate themselves, and that just hadn't happened yet. So 10 practices into it, uh, you know, we have probably 10 more before game week. So uh, this is kind of pushed through and separate yourself time, okay? So uh, we still have a lot of battles going on. Um, you know, happy with the competition, happy with uh, the way the guys are, are competing out there. Um, you know, today, tomorrow, uh, Friday and Saturday are four very, very important practices to the point to where I'm not ready to make decisions on anybody at this time. Is it the same spot or has somebody pleasantly surprised you where they're, they're sort of enters the conversation? Yeah, a lot, uh, quite a few. You know, and that, that's, that's, uh, that's been fun to watch. I mean, guys that we didn't know that we could count on uh, are starting to come through. Again, it'd be unfair for me to mention names and stuff, but there's 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 more competition at each and every spot that I haven't been a part of since I've been here. You know, so, and and that's that's really good news for the Houston Cougars. I mean, we got we got guys that are competing, to, you know, for starting jobs. We got guys that are competing for backup spots. We got guys that are competing for playing time on special teams. We got guys that are competing for for an opportunity to get on the bus to go to San Antonio. So uh, that's good. That's that's just that's good. That's overall good news. I've been very pleased with that. Looking the wide receivers room, you got a lot of youth there, not a lot of experience. How have you seen them adjust to this camp and stuff like that? Yeah, I, I thought about this yesterday. Uh, we have six wideouts, uh, seven wideouts that are repping. Uh, six of them are freshmen. Now, it's a little misleading. Sam Brown just turned 20. He's got some playing experience, you know. Uh, you know, Man Jack has played. Cody Jackson has played. Um, you know, they're they're they got four years of eligibility. Most of them have four years of eligibility. Um, I think Man Jack's got three, but uh, um, but they're older, you know. And that that's the one thing that is kind of exciting about this team is is we're just we're kind of a veteran team. We got a lot of guys that have played a lot of snaps. I, I believe our Average age is like 21 and a half. That's pretty old, you know, when you take into consideration you got some 18 year olds, 17, 18 year olds out there, and then, uh, but the average player on our team is about 21 and a half. Can Sam Brown and Mad Jack, can they give you another dimension, especially in the red zone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam looked really good in the red zone the other day. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with Man Jack, and I don't want to just—I don't really want to talk specifically about people at this point because again, we're just still competing out there. But you know, they're—they're they're both pretty versatile. You know, Sam's got height and strength, and, and Man Jack's got the ability to play all four positions if he wants to because he looks pretty good. So, um, yes, um, hopefully, you know, we need to be. We, I thought we were—you know—I I went through a red zone thing the other day. We were. As a football team, we were pretty good. I do these margins, and again, nothing that happened last year was anything to talk about at this point in time. But the touchdowns in the red zone, we were like third in the country as a team. You know, offensively scoring them, I think we scored 71% of the time in the red zone. So I don't feel like we have red zone issues, but if you can add uh, people to the equation to be able to score, that's definitely a, an advantage. And then defensively, we were, uh, you know, top five and preventing touchdowns in the red zone. That's kind of the key when you get down there because you're going to you're gonna have to, you're going to get down there and you're going to have to defend down there. It's all about scoring touchdowns. What about the running back? Have you seen some separation in there? I know you're looking for start, you know, for carries behind Tejon. So how has that worked? Uh, yeah, uh, Stacy Sneeds looked really good. Uh, it's time for him to play. He's been here two years and hadn't seen the, he hadn't dressed out yet for a variety of reasons. But uh, he, he's, he's, he's looked really good. Brandon Campbell has looked solid. Uh, Keelan has stayed healthy, mm. uh, which is good, uh, you know, and then Foley has, has Foley's Foley, he's just Mr. Reliable. In, in terms of, uh, in general terms of a corner, when, when you lose what you lose, but then you, you have guys like Alex and Art who got some, you know, got some experience, do you feel, you know, 
You're not going to replace the two that you lost, but do you feel a little bit good about having at least some experience there and then what you have behind them with Moses and a couple of other guys? Yeah, I, I think we can replace them. I mean, we've, I think, recruited pretty well. Uh, it's just about getting – just logging the reps, man. I mean, that's where we're at right now in the next four, uh, four practices as a team. We just got to keep logging reps and see who – separates themselves but uh you know hogan's been out with a hamstring he's gonna be fine but he won't be out there today uh and we know what he can do to the field art's been great to the boundary jalen emory to the field has stepped up and because we've we've been forced to play him because hogan's not out there so that that's been some good news justice hugo is big you know he looks good to the field um you know moses has been he's had a hamstring too so he, but he's out there today so we gotta continue to evaluate evaluate him so we got some guys to choose from. We just got we just got to rep them, and we plan on playing the same way we played last year. You know, the reason we feel good about our starting corners is because we moved Marcus and Pepe all over the place to get Art and and Hogan some reps. You know, so uh, that's going to happen again this year. Who those people are, we got battles going on to figure that out. How, how do you how do you see the kick return game sort of developing at this point? Yeah, there's no Marcus. <laughs> There's, there's, uh, we have, we have some guys that, uh, to choose from. You know, uh, Tank is is fine. Uh, you know, Matt Golden is is very gifted uh, catching kicks. Uh, Peyton Sawyer has has, has looked really good. Uh, he's looked good on offense too. He's probably our second leading receiver as far as targets and catches right now in camp. I've been very happy with him. Uh, he'll get a look in the in the return game. Jace Rogers uh, is very mature. Uh, never thought I'd say that, but very mature and uh, has been playing very well, not only on defense, but in the return game as well. Um, got some guys to choose from. Is the preference not to use Tayshawn if, if you don't have Yeah, to I'd, I'd prefer not to. I mean, you know, those backs got a lot on them. I, I'd prefer not to use him back there. Uh, I think we got enough people that can do it to where we won't have to unless we need to. Coach, a couple of equipment, equipment questions. Is this the first year they've had the captain C on their practice jerseys? No, nah, we did that last year. Okay, I just missed it last year. I believe – did we do it two years ago too? Yeah, COVID. Started um, that in COVID, so you guys wouldn't have seen that. Yeah, um, okay. Did, also, it, did it last year, yes. The new helmets, there's some new styles and also the Guardian caps. How, is that, how have they adjusted to that? I, I thought they were going to buck a little bit, and they, they really haven't. You know, I mean, once once the NFL did it, it's going to trickle down into colleges, and if the NFL does it, then our players think it's cool. So uh, we they really haven't bucked it on that. Uh, we've had one concussion, you know, in camp, which is very positive. So I think those things are legit, and I think they work. Uh, the other helmet, I don't know anything about that other helmet. It's like the one like Aussie's got. There's about like like dot right there. You see, he doesn't have the pad on there right. because that helmet doesn't have a pad because it doesn't feel like it needs a pad okay. because the equipment says that that helmet is okay. the top of the line one. And also, last question, the red stripes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm turning towards <laughs> Dorchester because he's a former equipment manager. Ah. He's came a long ways. Okay, now he runs our program, a former equipment manager, so he knows all these answers to these questions. The red stripes on the quarterback's helmet's back this year? Just, yeah, for that. For eyesight stuff. Eyesight. Just, you can, on video, you can see exactly where they're looking. Okay. Kyle and Bubba, is that still... It's uh, yeah, it's it's still a battle. I, we've lined up and kicked more field goals uh, in up in ten practices than I ever have ever. Uh, we've got a lot of good work. Uh, they're competing, you know. So at some point we're gonna have to make a decision, but we're not ready to do that at this point. One or two more. Yeah. Coach, just in general, about two weeks out from the opener, are they kind of? Where you want them, or I know every coach always says they wish they had more time. To... No, nah, we're 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 on track. Uh, uh, very pleased. I, I tell you, we're getting more work out of run throughs and evening walk throughs. Just the organization of our staff. I've been very pleased with how our staff's working together. Uh, we're getting a lot done. We're where we need to be. We just got to keep logging reps and letting them compete and let this thing kind of settle out. We'll, we'll switch gears next week. You know, we got you know, four, four more practices this week. Monday school starts. Uh, so we'll switch gears, and, you know, that reduces everything. We'll go through a mock week and kind of start home on, on that UTSA. You feel like having a more veteran team now finally is what contributes to you guys having a better time? With Hope them. so. Should. You know, I should. Uh, you know, every day has been good. You know, we haven't had any bad days. You know, we've been, we've been practicing well. We've been taking care of each other. We've been very 
professional and happy with where we're at, and that has everything to do with maturity and guys with uh, uh, guys with experience.